डिले ओके गो हेड मत जी Mataji, unmute, Mataji. Is it put on? And is it put on yeah. presentation today? <laughs> Param has presentation. Yes, we have presentation today. It's such a beautiful beginning, right? Okay, so Hari Krishna, Balavrinda, Madhav, Devarsh, Ryan, Param, Raya Pralhad. This is Jai. Hi, Krishna. Sanvi, Krishna, Nena. Hi, 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 Krishna. What? What's your name? Shabini. My dad calls me Kishori. Kishori. My name is Kishori. My name is Kishori. Okay, Kishori. Oh, who is this? This is Rama. Hi, Krishna, Rama. So we have we have Ram, we have Kishori, and we have Devash. Hari bowl in one frame. Hari Hari bowl. And I see Kishori has someone in her hand. Can you please show us who is there in your hand? It's, it's Rama. Oh, it's not Rama. Wow. His name is Balram. Ram, Balram. Sita. Ra okay, Ram, do you have... Okay, it's Mother Sita, Hanuman. Very nice. Show him. And he has some balls. Hare Krishna Bhattaji, this is Balavrinda. Hare Krishna Balavrinda. Bhattaji, so very Balavrinda. Isha, Vikram, Kashi, Hi Krishna, Risha, Ramachandra, Samskriti, Sanvi, Surud, Krishna Nena, Raya Prahlad, and this is Jay, right? Yeah. Is it Jay? Hi, Bol? Yeah. Okay. So, welcome everyone and wish you all a very, very happy new year. Okay. New Year's over. New Year's over. <laughs> it just started, right? Wait, is it done? It, it, the year has just started. So, and in this new, in this uh, whole new year, we're meeting for the first time. Mataji? Mataji? Yes. So now it's January. So, so now it's, uh, so, so on January 1st, it was New Year. Now, now, now it's January okay. Eight. Can you Eight. Hi Krishna. So it's it's is it an old year now? The new year is done. It's very old. It's still a new year, Bhattaji. It's still a new year. It's very old. Okay, so yeah, so yeah. See, I I I'm missing you all. On on Saturday, I have my eye visit. So after that, um. 
If my eyes don't get better, I have to have a surgery. We'll pray that it gets better. Okay, and it everything goes smoothly. Okay, so what we're going to do is hi Krishna. Uh this is Sadhu Bhushana. Your name is what, Bata? It's my brother. What's your name? He's my brother. Oh, it's a brother. Oh, it's a brother. And I'm again missing his Sadhu name. Sadhu Mataji, he joined from a different device, I think. Yeah. Very nice, Sadhu. You have your own device now. I'm so happy for you. Look at your smile. Look he at your smile. Device, but he, he's using my mom's laptop. See, he's so enthusiastic, right? He wants to join by himself. So we have three of our friends in one frame. That's he Isha Bikram Certificate, Mataji, for 100% attendance. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations, Sadhu. And we have, oh, where did our other friends go who are three in one frame? Hi, Krishna Tushita. I'm Sevani uh, Devash and Rama. Yeah, where's Dev? Yeah, Devash, uh, then Kishori and Rama. They also are three in one frame. And they are enjoying playing with Lord. Mataji, she's calling herself Kishori, but it's actually Sevini. She lives next door to me. Oh, is it? <laughs> Sevini, huh? She says that her yeah, dad calls her Kishori. She says that her dad calls her Kishori. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see you all. Mataji? Yes, mother? So, so I have a sister. You have a sister? What's her name? Gopi. Gopi? How old is she? Um, She's nine months. Nine months. So and you're a big brother. You're a big brother. Very and nice. And then now she's starting to crawl. Wow. So you should, you should also help her, right? When she's crawling, are you also crawling with her? <laughs> Very good. Okay. So now what we'll do, it is the... First class of our new year, right? So, everybody has your chanting bag with you. Mataji, will we do Kahoot today? No, not on the very first day. Let's see. Okay, this week, we'll, maybe next week, we'll arrange for the Kahoot. Or maybe next next week. Everybody has your chanting bag with you? Okay, so what we'll do is, we'll set a timer for two minutes. What do you say? Okay, and then we will will chant. Everybody has your chanting bag with you. Should I give you two one minute to just get your chanting bag? And I want everyone to yeah, you can start chanting. Everybody ready? Krishnana, Isha, Devash. Ready, Badaji. Ready. Very nice. Surud, very nice. I'm so happy to see you all. And we have... <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can keep yourself unmute, unmute and you can chant, okay? If you, if you want, you can unmute also yourself. So what we'll do is we'll chant for two minutes. Okay, I would really like to chant for a whole round, but then uh, we'll have to continue the class as well. So just to begin with our class, we'll start for two minutes, okay? Snake, <laughs> 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 
Hey, I'm on my mermaid, snake, 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 Hey, I'm on my mermaid, snake, 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 Thank you so much. So we chanted for two minutes. Okay, one second. Next time, should we chant a wait? Next time, I should yeah, we I chant six rounds every single day, and each round is seven minutes. Yes. So we can at least do seven minutes. <laughs> yes, so next time, what we'll do is and, uh, next time, as we join in, we'll start chanting. Okay, so that we can at least finish one whole round. Is that okay? Yeah. That's that? good, Mataji. Right. Because now it's like many small kids are also there. So we just ch chanted for two minutes. So what we'll do next week when we join, as you join, you should be ready that everybody's chanting, okay? And then as everybody comes, then we'll start int introducing and everything. Okay, so Hare Krishna, Palvit, Palvit to join. Ryan? Yes, Ryan? <clears throat> Dumb and stop it on and I'll kill you. So, oh, uh, yeah, would you please stop it? So, Sadhu, let him talk. So, would you please stop this? I have enough of this. You have something to add? And, um, um, Ian, by the way, they always do six rounds every single day. On the week, we, we do eight rounds. And, yeah. and we also. <laughs> And we're also the same because we do six rounds in seven in, in the seven minutes. That's very nice. That's very nice. Very nice. Uh, and on your character, sometimes we do <coughs> ten and nine. But I follow how much round the than the dudes on your character. That's really so nice of you. And I'm really happy that you're chanting. Okay, so what we'll do is we will start with our uh prayers okay yeah everyone together okay oh oh magyan timiran rasya gyanan janan shalakaya takshor milita yena tasmai shri gurave namaha namo vishnu padaya krishna preshthaya bhutale 
श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांता स्वामी नमिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शन्यवादी पाशात्य देश तारिने जय श्री कृष्ण जय चान्या प्रभु नित्यानंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे 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 कृष्ण ओके वन से Oh Krishna very my son Where is my slide Ready One second no but It was there before, right, Mataji? Yeah, before we share. Yeah, that's what I'm not finding it. Screen share. Yeah, it's there. It didn't load. Yeah. Okay, so I'm really very happy to see you all. Okay, so we will just go with what exactly where we were on, right? So we are just for everyone who is joining. We have started. I hope you can see this book. Uh, we've started with the Bhagavad Pravaha, which is written by uh, Gaurang Darshan Prabhu, and we we're, we're studying the same. We're studying the Shrimad Bhagavatam, but it is in a more kid friendly way. Okay, so so that you all can understand the stories and you all can understand the flow of the Bhagavatam in a very proper way. Okay, so it's a very uh, thoroughly studied uh, way that you can all understand the shrimad bhagavatam so we have come up to canto 2 now okay so to be more precise in canto 2 um, where are we okay let me just let me just give you the yeah so uh, right now in canto 2 we are on uh, yeah we are on chapter 5 the cause of all causes okay so we are currently on that chapter in in canto 2 so that if anybody just wants to go uh, read over in the in the main in the shrimad bhagavatam canto um so we are in chapter 5 oh. so uh, to just go with the flow where we are <clears throat> it is that the supreme creator in in the last weeks what we saw was that the supreme creator because it was it was two weeks break right uh, rather it was three weeks break because two weeks break and the week before we had uh, bhagavad gita recitation so we were on the supreme creator and the shelter and what all we will just go with the flow what exactly was there in the earlier sessions okay it's not in detail but we'll just go with the main points which are emphasized so how did we start was over here was that sukadev goswami is answering to parikshit mahar parikshit's inquiry about the universal creation right because parikshit maharaj has very few days left and so he has come to take the knowledge from sukadev goswami and sukadev goswami is instructing or he is in for he is answering all the queries by parikshit maharaj so the very first uh, explanation which uh, sukadev goswami gives to parikshit maharaj is uh, a bona fide teach wait one second mm -hmm. devarsh can you read this a bona fide teacher transparently 
Very good. Okay, so a bona fide teacher is one who trans who transparently transmits the transcendental teaching. The is the does this sound like a tongue twister? Transparently transmits transcendental teachings. A teacher who transparently tra but um, um Vinita Mataji. We we can uh, we can have this as a, a bona fide of, teacher is a teacher. one who yeah, yeah, only only the teacher part. Teacher who transparently transmits the transcendental teachings. <laughs> yes, all 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 for all T right? All yes. Yeah, so transmit the transcendental teachings received in authentic spiritual lineage, right? So this is what Sukadev Goswami is instructing Parikshit Maharaj. That Parikshit Maharaj has first gone to the gone to Sukadev Goswami so as to inquire about the universal creation. That how was this? See the when we, uh, you know, when we start with the Bhagavad Gita sessions. You know, the six sessions of Bhagavad Gita. Normally, when you start it, it's like, who am I? Where, how did this uh, universe did get created? Like, uh, or uh, how are the, the you know, how did the first humans come into existence? All these answers, when, when you start with the Bhagavad Gita sessions, those are answered. So over here, Parikshit Maharaj had the very basic question that, tell me, how did this universe get created? Right, and then, and whom to ask a question? Always, that is a very, very important thing to understand. You cannot go and ask a question to anyone on the street. You have to ask a question. Whom will you ask a question to? Anybody wants to answer? What do you what think when you have a master? master. 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 Oh, Param, you saying something? Yeah. So, Mataji, we can ask a question, like, in general. We can ask a question to our teacher. Very good, to a teacher. Okay. Isha, what do you say? A guru. A guru. Okay. Subhadra Giridhari. Mataji, you can ask a question or inquiry to, um like, a spiritual master, like, Srila okay. Prabhupada's ma uh, spiritual master was Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Okay, very good. Livan? To like a sage or a guru. Okay. Sanavi? <clears throat> Mataji, we should learn from a bona fide teacher who knows okay. the right answer and who would guide us in the right way. Very good. Madhav? Also, also do it. Also, also do it. So, so do we have some questions? We can also tell some questions to our parents. Like, Very good. Very like nice. Some, like some difficult questions. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Devarsh? If we do not have a bona fide guru, we cannot be in Krishna conscious. Because they tell us all the Krishna consciousness. Okay, we will come to this word, okay? Bona fide, okay? We will come to this word. Surud? We can ask a bona fide teacher who transparently transmits the transcendental teachings. We see okay. Very nice. Ryan? Follow the spiritual master. Okay, Jay. We can ask our parents. Okay, okay. So beautiful answers, wonderful answers, and wonderful thinking. Okay, so over here the main which is emphasized is that teachings received in authentic spiritual lineage. Right. That means, see, everybody is going to uh, <clears throat> answer you according to what they perceive or what they think. Or what, uh, you know, what is their understanding? 
but we if we have to have the authentic knowledge it has to be a bona fide teacher okay so bona fide is who a one who is certified now when you some when you go to school anybody and everybody just cannot go enter into the school and start teaching you right so in a school they will have some norms they will have some criteria they will have some exams to give after which only the teacher is able to come and teach in the school so she is allowed to teach after she gives certain exams after she has passed the tests so a bona fide teacher is a one who comes into the spiritual lineage that means who has a guru who has a guru it, it's not that a person who just <clears throat> says that yes i am a guru i have understood everything at night yesterday i had a dream and i've got all the knowledge and now i'm going to impart it to all of you it's not that way it has to be a bona fide spiritual master or a bona fide teacher who is in the <clears throat> authentic lineage okay in a guru shishya parampara so that is the very first criteria so when parikshit maharaj had queries or when parikshit maharaj knew that he had to uh, he wanted answers for everything and he wanted to know about all the uh, the past times of the lord or he wanted to know all the details whom did he approach he approaches sukhdev goswami okay so that's the very first step of your you know um, of your uh, progressing in any uh, path it is that you have to get the right guidance if it is a school you have to go to the right teacher like suppose if you have a query in your uh, maths okay in your mathematics you have a query and you are in grade 7 and it's a higher level query you cannot go to a kindergarten teacher and say okay now teach me 10th grade math the math at your grade you have to go and ask to a teacher who is going to be at your uh, grade level right so the same way over here and who, who is going to be uh, you know that yes this person knows things so the same way then narada also inquired now for then as it goes ahead it is that sukadev goswami he explains about the bona fide spiritual master and then narada he also asks brahma okay and the further part as we proceed it is that narada asks brahma that uh, what is that one second yeah i'm just wanted to read something over here okay narada inquired from brahma that my dear father what are the characteristics of the universe how is it created and conserved now tell me narada he do you think that narada he did not know about the universe or do you think that if narada is asking question to brahma that means narada does not know about anything what do you feel narada is asking brahma right like then like how is this uh, created or uh, how was the universe created or what are the important characteristics of the universe yes subhadra giridhari mata ji because like um i think that um narmuni he's also a bona fide spiritual master so he's asking to lord brahma that um uh about um the universe how is it made from so it's yes. it's like in bhagavatam it it um shows how the narration of nard muni and brahmadev um talk about the universe and how it is yes. yeah made. how it manifested yes surat mataji like great sages and uh, many people many great people they set an example for like many common men who don't know what to do or like how to follow it to show we should do this and we should not do this very good very nice very nice so uh, mata ji are we at time we okay we have another 2 3 minutes right yes mata ji 3 minutes yeah, yeah yeah so the great source see over here uh, balvinda can you read this for me please uh So, sometimes 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 even great souls inquire on basic basic subjects not out of ignorance but to uncover deeper knowledge for the welfare of common men 
very good as surud also mentioned that right so it's not that they do not know about it but it is so that that once that explanation is given it's not only for them but for everybody else okay so we just as we go here ramachandra can you read this verse for us please i guess ramachandra was there sure mataji bhumi apala no vayu kamano buddheva cha ahankara tiyame bina prakti rashta da very good okay so the yeah one second livan can you read the translation please Earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and false ego. All together, these eight constitute my separated material energies. Very good, right? So then, this is what later on becomes the are the answers answered by, uh, Lord Brahma. That and in the uh the explanation is also given in Bhagavad Gita seven point four. That what does the Lord say? that water earth ether all these mind intelligence false ego they are all together manifestations of the material energy and which is the lord himself so when brahma brahma starts describing about the characteristics of the universe okay so everything which is there in this material world in this universe is all manifesting from the lord so it is that the lord narayana is the shelter of the universe where did we go okay here the lord narayana is the shelter of the universe and everything emanates from him so uh, to more comprise it's the material elements the living entities the time the nature the activity that is the dravya jiva kala swabhava and the karma everything all these five components of the universe are the main characteristics of the universe and this Papa all Ji? yes so can i say something yes so so so, so when so when vishnu was sleeping then then form is then then form is um um breath from his breath the universe is emanated right from from the pool all the all all the all the universe come out of that yes okay so mother you want to read this hmm. God is the basis, huh? basis, basis, foundation, foundation, and sh sh shelter, shelter of everything in this universe. Universe, universe which that thus is non different. Di different from him. Very good. So the main basic characteristic of the universe is that everything emanates from the Lord. Everything comes from the Lord, and the Lord is the ultimate shelter. Okay. So this was Law Brahma's uh, explanation, which is given. Uh, we have seen in the earlier parts also, and that the Lord is the shelter of everything. And then what Lord Brahma also mentions is that again, it is by the Lord's wish only that Brahma creates. Okay, so it's just like the uh, uh, the duties are being assigned, right? So it's like Brahma creates, Shiva destroys, and Lord Vishnu himself maintains everything. So this is a collaborative work which is being assigned to all three of them. And after that, like uh, in the next sessions or in the next explanations, we will talk about Mahavishnu, we will talk about Prakriti, or we will talk about how the creation of the universe has taken place. Okay, so now don't miss the further chapters because uh, in the further chapters, it will be explained about the creation of the universe. So this is what was today's about today's part. Like it's the... summary of the last week and about today is that see every day uh, when we are doing this bhagavatam there will be one ex one one slide which will comprise of what you have learned in today's part okay so uh, param can you read this again for us please okay master ji god is the basis of foundation and shelter of everything in this universe which thus 
is non different from non different from. okay so it's lord uh, like whatever we see around it's all the lord's uh, man, uh, the lord is present in each and everything and that is that is the right way to look around in this universe like you cannot say okay this is the, this is, we know hiranyakashipu story right it's not like the lord is everywhere whether it is the pillar or whether it is anywhere that the lord is present and then the next uh, session will start with the creation of the universe okay so today we have a presentation and our param is looking all beautifully dressed up in a, in a beautiful tilak. And uh, Mataji, you want to <clears throat> take over? Yeah, Mataji, would you like to introduce the poster is in the group? Yeah, one second. I'll just go ahead. One, one second. Hmm? Couldn't find it, Mataji. Shall I do? Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's there. Okay, so we are very happy that the beginning of the new uh, of our new uh, year, the academic new year, right? So January 2024, we have our first presentation given by Param. So for everybody's uh, to introduce Param, I'll just tell about Param, okay? So Param is 10 years old and he stays in Delver. He likes to sing Guru Vandana. He is learning Mridanga. Param chants daily before going to school and more rounds on special days. He reads Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Ayan Chaitanya Charita Amrita Haripol almost daily each for 15 minutes and sometimes even more. He is so excited to join Bhakti Sangha kids and we see that he he tries his best to join even on Fridays when he had satsang at places. He tries to join the classes even then. So we are very, very happy and he is very inquisitive. He is uh, very active in the class and we are really happy to have Param in the class and more happy to listen from him and the Topic which he is going to introduce today is about Vaishnava etiquette. And I would be really happy to say that looking at him himself, it shows that what a Vaishnava attire should also be look like. So I'll hand over it to Param. You can start your presentation. Everybody, we can have our hands uh, lowered. And then after uh, Param's uh, yeah, after Param's uh, the presentation is done, then we can raise hands to ask questions to him. Okay, over to you, Param. Yeah, so everyone keep an uh, extra device ready because at the end we're going to have a kahoot. So pay attention at the um class. Okay, let, let me start with the Mangala Charana first. Om Agyanati Miranda Sya. Wait. Om Gyanati Mirandasya Gyanan Jalasalakaya Takshurun Militam Yena Taksma Shi Guru Venama Shi Chaitanya Manobishtam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadasiva Padantikam Vandeham Shi Guru Shi Uta Patakamalam Shi Guru Vaishnamamsha Shi Rupam Sagrajatam Sahaganalita Shi Vishakam Vitamsha he Krishna Kuruna Sindhu, Tina Bandu Jagatpate, Gopisha Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta Namostute, Tapta Kancha Nagorangi, Shirade Vrindavaneshwari, Vishabanu Sute Devi, Pranamami Hedi Priye, Namo Mishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishtaya Budule, Shimate Bhakti Vedanta, Swaminiti Ramani, Namaste Saraswati Devi, Goravani Pratarine, Nevishesha Shunivadi, Pashata Deshatarine, Jai Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gauru Bhakta Vrinda Vancha Kalpata Robesha Kirpa Sindhu Bhai Evacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishna Vibhya Namo Namo Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so we're going to be doing, um, learning about Vaishnava etiquette. 
Oh, yeah. 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 What is Vaishnava etiquette? Etiquette means using our manners towards things and people. Helps us become free from original and envy and desire to be enjoyers and controllers. Srila Prabhupada said, practicing Vaishnava etiquette means always acting in the mood of goodness. So basically what this is saying that we should use our manners to people and things like things we can um things can be like harmonium and mridanga and we should like keep, don't keep after like if we're trying to play if we want to play then we have to put them back where they were so then that's like proper ma manner use and not um and to people too because um like, like when we meet someone, we should always say Hare Krishna to them. Like Hare Krishna, um, Mahatadi and Prabhu. And Prabhupada also said, practicing Vaishnava etiquette means always acting in the mood of goodness. So we, the mode of goodness is like, happy, basically like, you're like in a good mood. And um, you're, pra you're, you're explain you're you're explaining like so basically it is about like Prabhupada is saying about the goodness is we're doing we're doing it in a peaceful and good manner like what what this explanation yeah next slide Vaishnava etiquette a divorcee should not talk loudly and quarrel, quarrel, chastise anyone and speak harshly or angrily. Angrily. So talk loudly is because devotees in the temple they may be doing japa, so we don't want to disturb them and um, chastise anyone because we because we don't want to do Vaishnava proud to anyone. So it will like it will make them feel bad. So we don't want anyone to feel bad, and harshly or angrily, like we shouldn't do that either because it's like the same thing. And we should con we should be control. We should like keep ourselves controlled because even if someone makes us mad, we don't want anyone to be mad and like. Other senior Vaishnavas, they also they also tolerate. So we also have to tolerate about what well, um, we have to tolerate, even though someone does it. Someone um speaks harshly to you or angrily because we don't want to them to feel bad, and we should just tolerate. And Krishna sees everything. If you don't like. Thing, no one sees anything. Yeah. A, de a devotee should not criticize demigods and mundane talk, speak a lie, not speak to devotees who are chanting. So we shouldn't talk to anyone chanting because they might doing intense. They, they're trying to listen what they're hearing. And they and they don't want to hear what you're saying, and you can talk. And you should not criticize demigods because everyone, like who are not devotees, yeah, demigods are also Vaishnavas, and also like if someone that if um if someone's not like following what you follow, we shouldn't. Like this, we shouldn't like say why you do this. We should not force them to do what we're doing, because it's their choice. And um, yeah, and speak a lie because if you're lying to someone about something, Krishna, Krishna's gonna, Krishna's gonna be sad. Krishna's gonna be Krishna's looking, and he and then Krishna gets um like sad, not sad, but um, if you. 
do it's like um angry Christian angry and we don't want and you can't talk mundane talk like we can't talk about others because um it's like rude and it's like behind the back we're talking about them and if and it depends yeah <laughs> DTs. In a letter, Srila Prabhupada writes, You have described their lordships, Shishi Radha Krishna at London Temple, as wonderful. Yes, that is the is the test of standard service. If we see the DTs in very pleasing mood, that will certify our service unto the Lord. So everywhere we shall see the DTs in such pleasing mood. As soon as we see the deities in a different mood, we must immediately understand our discomprences. Krishna will be pleased when we are following Vaishnava etiquette. If the devotees are happy, then Krishna will be happy and pleased. <coughs> so this is saying... <coughs> yeah, this is saying... That Krishna, he is happy when like proper service is going to the deities. So we shouldn't be like, um, um, we shouldn't be like, um, we should know that um, when the deities are sleeping, and if someone wants to see the deities, you can't just open the altar at someone else's house, and um, also, um. Like we should, we should um, like offer and offer obeisances when the deities wake up, and they should have like proper service, like you see in temples, and also um, in London I went to the temple when I went to um London, I went to the um London Ishri Temple in um London. Dressing and appearance. Devo devotees dress must be simple and clean men should not wear should wear dhoti kurta women should wear sari or gopi skirt having tilak on always wearing kanti mala so it so for um the clean because we don't want to wear like like un like unclean dress to temple and um, the Prabhuji's should wear dhoti, dhoti kurta, and the women should wear um sari and gopi dress. And about the kanti mala, like if you're still progressing, like if the new devotees, if we're still progressing in the in Krishna consciousness, like when you get kanti mala, you always have to have kanti mala. And um, having tilak on always. If you don't have tilak, you can get it from different um places. Like if I don't know, like some Iskon temples have it. All of them have it, and um. And also like Vrindavan, and simplicity in dress is always important. It's important because. We should um represent um Krishna like um that were the devotees of uh, Krishna, like ha like you see like you see in the photo. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Now we're gonna go to the Kahoot. Yeah, Kahoot time. Wait, wait. Hold on. How do you do it? Yeah, I'm just gonna put the code on. Yeah. So you... <coughs> the passcode is eight five five one zero one five zero five. Can you please like put the um code on the screen? It is. Yeah, we we can't yeah. see the yeah. screen. It's in the, the code are. It's in the chat. Oh, it's in the chat. Okay, thank you. 
But why are you not showing that screen to us? Oh, yeah, we are not able to see that Kahoot screen. You have to stop the PPT. Yeah, oh. now you can share. Oh, yeah. Now can you see Mataji? Yes, yes. Perfect. Yes, thank you. But why are you doing it on phones? Why did you open it somewhere else? You can see that class there. He wants to can use phone for answering. I mean, Yes. Did you, did you go to settings and uh, uh, enable let the party to see the uh, questions? Yeah, show questions and yeah, questions and answers. Yeah. Is it fine now? Yeah, now it will show the questions on our screen also. I think. Okay. We should see like how many people are there. Is everyone in? No, there's 21 and 40. Yeah. And did everyone join yet? We can or give one more minute. One more minute and see. Yeah. There are 21 participants and, four, and 15 people. Yeah, that's okay. Some kids joined with the two devices. That's why you are seeing like that. <laughs> Those um kind and name go two o four. Ah, uh, Ryan, no talking, no talking. Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'll start. Yeah. Kahu. Vishnu educate. Three, two, one. Quiz one. What did Sheila Prabhupada say is Vaishnava etiquette? Red, having good manners. Yellow, acting in goodness. Blue, free ourselves from original envy and desire. And green, being a good Vaishnava. Okay. So six people picked red, and um, the correct answer was acting in goodness, and three people got that right. Next. Okay, in first place. Okay. No, do. Talk red, talk loudly. Yellow, chastise anyone. Blue, be respectful. And green, be helpful. Yeah. There were 14 people who picked blue and green were the right answers. Okay, now we'll move. What should I wish them or not do? Dance is red. Yellow is kirtan. Um, blue is speak harshly. And green is chastising someone. Okay. So we'll move on. Next one. Okay, no, next. 
which temple does Srila Prabhupada talk about DT service mentioned in the presentation? Delaware Temple, Dallas Temple, London Temple, or Washington Temple? Okay. okay. Now we'll move on to the next one. If we please the devotees, will Krishna be pleased? True or false? Okay, everyone got that right. Next. And next question. What should a devotee have all knowledge. Tilak or paint? Okay, everyone got that right. Okay, now the next question. Seven out of ten so far. Devotees should always be unclean. True or false? Okay. Okay, next question. What should I do for two in temple? Okay. Simplicity in blank is always important. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is the last question. Hitai Gora and Blink. Yeah, the picture you see it's our DTs. Yeah, you saw. Okay, everyone got that right. Yeah. On podium, we in third place, we have Samskriti. In second place, we have King Ding 2024. And 909, nine, Suhud 1. Everyone won. And runners up, we have Vipalad and Ramachandra. And uh, yeah. King Dong is me. Oh, good job. Yes. Everyone did a good job. And thank you, Mataji, for giving me opportunity to give presentation. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hi, Bol. Thank you, Param. And so uh, it's it's nice that you the, the topic which you selected was wonderful, like very strong, good for the beginning. And hope all our kids, uh, I think they, some of them have query also. And it's really nice that it's not only about the external attire, but what your internal feelings and how you are going to behave that also matters in the etiquette of a Vaishnava. Right. So very nice. Thank you for bringing that up. And explaining that in a very cool and calm manner. It's really nice to see you all presenting in this way. So I think we have some kids who want to ask some questions. Okay. So we have Madhav. You want to ask something, Madhav? Hare Krishna Param. So actually we should not we should not shout loud. 
and and we should not fight with others. It was a great. Do you want to say it was a great presentation? Yeah, it 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 was also a great presentation. Thank you, thank you, Madhavan. Good job on the kapu too. Good job. Thank you. Then we have Raghav. Raghav Pandit. Haram, I liked when you told that you should always put tilak on when you go to temple. It's a really important thing. Yeah. Tilak is very important. Yeah. Uh, Hare Krishna. Uh, Hare Krishna Param. Very beautiful presentation. It's very simple, short and very easy to understand and good ways to start our new year with this Vaishnava kids. This should be our goal for this year. Yeah, we, we try to be good behavior, but it always fails. Some or other point we do behave bad. It's a struggle for each and every one. That's mm -hmm. very good start for the new year. Your presentation is very nice and you brought in Kahoot. Lots of kids were asking from long time, Kahoot, Kahoot. And you have, you know, fulfilled their desire. You said, right, if you satisfied devotees, Krishna is happy. You satisfied all the kids. Krishna is so happy now. Thank you. Thank you, Param. And I should appreciate you because of you only I started again presentations back and you did not get chance. I was so sad about it. But you started this year presentations. I'm very happy now. Thank you, Param. Thank you so much. Can Lots of love. Please do continue these kind of presentations. Can I see something? Param. My mom was actually playing the game. Uh, <laughs> her name was Ladu. It was a this is a, oh. a, a game. <laughs> um, so um, I really like the Kahoot, and I also really like your class. Hare Krishna. Thank I was you. even taking notes. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Then we have Ryan who wants to say something. Yeah. yeah thank you, Balavinda. So, Param, I really like like your presentation, and I really like like that that you put Kahoot. And and I want to tell you one thing: How do you even put the Kahoot? So, so there's a website. Um, there's a website oh, that you have for the Kahoot, so you can so make your own Kahoot there. So, how do we put the title? Ryan, I'll help you. It's on the website. <laughs> it's so sweet. Dushita, you want to ask something? I did this not there, but um, I didn't even have to put it there. Thank you, Dushita. Subhadra Giridhari. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna Param. I, I really, really liked uh, your presentation because it was uh, about... Krishna consciousness and I, I like to hear about it like whenever I hear about it I feel really enthusiastic so thank you for giving me that feeling again I really liked it the presentation and thank you yeah Sounds good. Um, I really liked your presentation and the Kahoot was really fun and the Vaishnava etiquette, um, it was really interesting and a lot of quotes from Sri Prabhupada. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Jay? Your presentation was so good. It taught us how to be a very good devotee. And we got to play Kahoot for the first time this year. Yeah. Thank you. And um, it was it was um, like I did before I didn't before I forgot about the kahoot that everyone wanted kahoot I forgot about that and then um, to, to today um I got to I got um the pre the kahoot set up and um I did and then I and then I got remembered from the Kahoot that everyone wanted the Kahoot and um I was really um happy that everyone would be like happy and satisfied and um also Ma Sita Priti Mataji was saying 
that um to Balavrinda about um the pre the cahoot in one or two weeks, and I was um excited to tell Balavrinda that we're gonna have a cahoot today. <laughs> Very nice, Devarsh. Devarsh, do you want to say something? Okay. He's not seeing the cooking strategy. Maybe he's seeing somewhere else. Now we can yeah. see. Surud? Surud? Yeah, the presentation is really nice. And I also, yeah, I also like how you said you have to work the work every day. Even if you have to go to school, you have to put the work with water every single day. Like, uh, yeah. The Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, then we have Raghav. Raghav, are you done or do you want to say something? Krishna Nena? Um, hi, Krishna Param. I really liked your presentation. I liked how you did it on like question about etiquettes because it's like such like an interesting topic and like nobody's like ever done that. Um, and I also liked the kahoot you put at the end. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone like everyone liked the kahoot the most and the presentation. <laughs> most of the kahoot. <laughs> Thank Me, you. I both like the kahoot. Thank you. Can everybody come on video, please? Everyone. There is one name called Deepika. May I know who is that kid? Because I do take attendance. I want the kids to come to their with their name. Like I saw one kid joining Hare Krishna. I don't know who is that Hare Krishna. How can I take their attendance? So I want the um kid name. Okay, who is that Deepika? May I know who is that? Oh, it was. Is it that? What's the name, beta? Mataji. What's the kid's name? Unmute Mataji, please. I'm asking you to unmute. Srihan is a kid name, Mataji. Oh, yesterday you joined the WhatsApp group, right, Mataji? Uh, no, I, uh, Kavita Mataji has shared me. Today only the first time we joined, actually. Okay, are you from oh. India joining or from US? US. From okay. Delaware, Clement. Okay, what is the kid name again? Srihan. Srihan, okay, okay. Mataji, I think my mom hi, hi. to the register. Say hi. Okay, add his name to register, Mataji. Thank you. Uh, sorry, Mataji. Can you please come? Yeah, I am saying we have attendance register, Mataji. I will add his name to the register, I am saying. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Very yeah, nice. Everybody on video, Mataji wants to take a picture. Everybody can come on video. We should have taken it Three. before. See, yeah. It's in the lesson. Krishna, Raghav, Devarsh. We really had, I, I think we had uh, 23, right? And in those 23, we had another four additions which were together. Hi, Bol. Devarsh is somewhere else, I guess. Hi, Bol. So it was really nice, nice, nice to have. Uh, uh, you all and the very first class went super hit. So we all really look ahead to uh, attendance from you all like that. I know like with the schools, everybody gets busy. That's the reason we have compressed two, uh, two of the classes together, right? With Govinda and the Damodar. So then that everybody can attend it at one time. And I'm very happy and thank you Param so much for uh, this wonderful presentation and begin and giving a very beautiful beginning for our sessions. And I pray that this new year gets you more into Krishna consciousness, more into services, and you start chanting even more. So a big Hari Bol to everyone. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Hari Okay, closing the call. Bye-bye. Bye, Krishna Mataji.